All right, guys, I'm all finished, done now. God damn, this thing was a The instructions were not clear. Um, a lot of harnesses that, you know, got to connect two pin, six pin. It was very confusing. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex, and today I want to show you another mod that I picked up for my Nissan Frontier. 2023 Pro X behind me in tactical green. Now, I know this mod is a love or hate thing in the Nissan Frontier community, but I think it's badass, I think it's aggressive, and I got a good deal on it. I've seen other, you know, models of vehicles or trucks with roll bars, and I think they look badass. The Ram TRX, the Chevy Colorado, and I'm looking to give my Frontier that aggressive and badass look again a lot of people don't like it they say it's kind of useless but I think it's all about the aesthetics it's all about the looks and I think this is gonna make my truck look badass now I want to show you guys how light the sport bar is in case you're wondering um, you know I didn't want to add any unnecessary weight to the truck you know MPG is important I know it's all about smiles per gallon but um, you know ga gas mileage is important especially you know with these uh, rising gas prices so let me show you real quick how light and how easy i'm able to pick this up all right guys this is everything that it came with again this sport bar is for a vehicle that does not have the tracking system non-ut ulti track i think that's how you say it all the mounting hardware um i guess i can show you guys it does come with a third brake light there's a lot of sport bars out there like uh Go Rhino, Armadillo, some other brands that do sell aftermarket um, sport bars, but unfortunately they don't come with a third brake light, so that's something you'd have to buy. And uh, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep my truck as frontier as possible. Really digging the frontier stamping on here. I think it looks badass. It looks aggressive, and uh, yeah, let's get to it. That's how. As I mentioned, my vehicle did not come with the tracking system. Um, as you can tell, this is some Line X spray and bed liner I did. I did post a video about that. If you guys are interested in seeing how it looks like before, um, go check it out. But I wanna show you guys that you're able to install the sport bar without needing the tracking system. So they do sell um, a part number that does not require the, you know, the track. All right, we're about to get started. Got my knife, got my energy drink. Let's get to it. Got the, as you can see, I got the sport bar mounted on the truck. Um, and now I gotta run the wiring and electrical. So let's get to it.
done. Man, that was a hassle. Um, especially if you're like me and you don't know what you're doing. Um, the harnessing was the worst part. The instructions were very complicated. Um, but uh, overall, very simple. You're just you know, connecting the harness and the tail light. And for some reason, um, you know, it, it finishes, you can see wiring wiring, and it finishes all the way under the hood into a two pin connector there. Um, I don't know why, kind of confusing, but overall, it looks good. Um, third brake light works, cargo light works. Um, whew, tire, frustrated, dirty. Um, kind of playing Tetris with these harnesses. Again, the instructions were very confusing, but overall it looks very good. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, clean everything up. Uh, zip tie all the uh, harnesses on the bottom so there's no rattling. And I'll show you guys the finished results.